My name is Karagulova Miriam and I'm a teacher of Asian Medical Institute. I teach Latin for before starting my lesson. I want to remind for future doctors about importance of studying, of continuous um, improving your skills and deepening your knowledge because doctor is one of the most responsible professions and medicine is one of the fast developing branches of science because every day new and new diseases are being discovered and more new and new ways of treatment new medicines are being created by doctors and in future if you want to be a good doctor you must work hard now because now you are building your future so uh, let's start our lesson of latin language and today we are discussing suffixation what is suffixation it is a way of term building by adding suffixes to root words Suffixes, according to the new meaning they develop, divided into three types. Adjective suffixes, noun suffixes, and terminological suffixes. Adjective suffixes are suffixes used to construct adjectives, usually from nouns, sometimes from verbs. First, adjective suffixes are ik, al, ar, in, e. These suffixes construct adjectives having meaning related to. Look at the examples. Maxilla plus ar maxillaris related to maxilla. Palatum, palate, palatinus related to palatine. Palatine. Pharynx plus e. Pharyngeus related to pharynx, pharyngeal. Tympanum plus ic, tympanicus related to tympanum. Next is per, which develops meaning caring. Like salmon, sea, plus per, seminifer, carrying the salmon, salmon. Sudor, sweat, plus per, sudorifer, carrying the sweat. Sodoriferous, for example, sodoriferous glands. Next example, sangris blood, plus fer, sanguinifer, carrying the blood, sanguinifer, for blood vessels. Sulfur, sleep, plus fer, sulfurifer, carrying the sleep, sulfuriferous medicine. Eve develops meaning able to do something example progress progress growth plus e progressivus progressive able to progress able to become more serious this adjective is used for describing worsening diseases incisio cutting plus if incisivus incisive able to cut Contraceptio, prevention of pregnancy or conception. Plus, if contraceptivus, contraceptive, able to prevent, to prevent pregnancy, conception. Genus has two meanings, causing and caused by, originated from some organ. For example. Examples. Pathos means disease plus genus pathogenus causing the disease pathogen. Cancer means cancer, cancerogenus will be causing cancer, carcinogen. Allergia, allergy plus genus allergenus causing the allergy, allergen. Psycho, mind. Mental activity plus genus, psychogenus, psychogenic, 
caused by problems with mind. Bronchus, bronchogenus, bronchogenic, caused by bronchus problems or some disease originate from bronchitis. Next suffix is ide and formis. They develop meaning having shape of, resembling shape of, and looking like. Rhombus, rhomboideus, having rhombus shape. Trapezium, trapezoideus, having trapezium shape. Scaphos, board, scaphoideus, resembling shape of board. Next example, pterygos means wing, pterygoideus, wing-like, pterygoid. Stylos, style, styloideus, styloid, resembling style. Tyreos, shield, tyroideus, thyroid, shield-like. Sphenos, wedge, sphenoideus, resembling a wedge, sphenoid. Xiphos, sword, and xiphoideus, xiphoid, sword-like. Arachne, net, arachnoideus, arachnoid, resembling the net. Crux, means cross, cruciformis, having cross shape. Veris, warm. Very formis, warm like. Pirum, pier, piriformis, having shape of pier or looking like pier. Next example, os suffix, which develops meaning containing covered with, characterized by presence of. Squamas, Scale plus os squamosus means covered with scales. Pulcus ulcer, ulcerosus ulcerus containing ulcers, characterized by presence of ulcers. Gangrena gangrene, gangrenosus afflicted tissue death. Mucus mucus mucosus covered with mucus. Fibra, fiber, fibrosus, fibrous, containing fibers. Vena, venosus, full of veins. Nervous, nervosus, nerves related. Petrus, petrosus, stony, hard. And last one is tuber, plus os, tuberosus, tuberous containing lumps, containing tubers. Next type of suffixes are noun suffixes, which are used to construct new nouns. And new nouns can be constructed from nouns or from verbs. According to this, noun suffixes are divided into two types. First type is diminutives, el, il, Ul, kul, ol. These suffixes construct new nouns with meaning of small size structure. Second type is noun derivators or er, io, and ura. These suffixes construct new nouns from verbs. So first diminutive suffixes. Glob, globus, ball, globulus. Small ball, global. Vena, vein, venula, venue, small vein. Having same function, same structure, but only size is small. Frenum, frenulum. Canalis, canaliculus. Tuber, protuberance, prominence, and tuberculum, small tuber. Small prominence. Genu, knee, geniculum, small structure resembling knee. 
Auris, ear, auricula, auricle, small ear like structure. Bronchus, bronchus, and bronchiolus, bronchiol, small branches of bronchus. Aria means area, and areola, areol, small area. Arteria and arteriola, arterial, small artery. Lamina, plate, layer, and lamella means thin layer. Cerebrum means cerebrum or brain, and cerebellum. Cerebellum means portion of brain. Now, noun derivatives from verbs. First is eo, process or action meaning. Like flexio, bending process, incisio, cutting process, curatio, treating process, rotatio, spinning around action, amputatio, removing, palpatio, palpation means process of examining by touching, inflammatio, Inflammation or process of swelling and reddening. Mutatio, mutation process of alteration. And penetratio, penetration or penetrating process of entering or inserting. Suffix ur develops meaning of result of action. Like flexura, flexure. Incisura, incisure. Fractura. Fracture, ruptura, rupture, fissura, fissure, sutura, suture, famisura, joining, and punctura, puncture. Next suffix is or er, which develop meaning of doer of action. And for as examples for these uh, suffixes, we can use Latin names of muscles according to their functions, like musculus abductor, muscle which brings away, musculus adductor, muscle which brings power, musculus buccinator, cheek muscle, musculus constrictor, squeezing, compressing, and tightening muscle, musculus depressor, muscle which draws down, musculus levator. Muscle which lifts or raises. Musculus masseter, chewing muscle. Musculus rotator, muscle which rotates or spins around. Mus musculus tensor, muscle which tightens. Musculus corrugator, wrinkling muscle. Musculus dilatator, muscle which dilates. Musculus extensor, muscle which straightens. Musculus flexor, muscle which bends. Musculus pronator, muscle which turns inward or rotating downward. Musculus supinator, vice versa, turning outward or rotating upward. And last one is musculus sphincter, which is round shape constricting, tightening muscle. Third type of suffixes are terminological suffixes. Suffixes developing terminological meaning. First, omo, synonym emma. They have two meanings. First is tumor, benign neoplasm. Example, neomo, tumor of muscle tissue. Odontoma, tumor of teeth origin. Lipoma, tumor of fat tissue. Second meaning of omo is collection of fluid in tissue where it mustn't be. Hematoma, collection of extravasated blood in tissue. Edema, swelling, accumulation of fluid in tissue. MPMA, collection of pus in hollow structures. Next is osis, synonym eosis. These topics has four meanings. First is Process. Example, symbiosis, process of coexisting. Lithiasis, stone formation. Second meaning is disease caused by parasites. 
acne causes disease caused by fungi. Helminthiasis, disease caused by helminths, intestinal worms. Third meaning is chronic degenerative disease. Chronic means long term. Example, nephrosis, chronic degenerative disease of kidneys. Arthrosis, chronic disease of joints. Fourth meaning of osis is abnormally high level of cells, especially blood cells. Leukocytosis, abnormally high number of leukocytes, white blood cells. Fibrosis, overgrowth of fibrous tissue. Next terminological suffix is ismus. Ismus has three meanings. First is deviation syndrome, some abnormality or pathology. Example, strabismus, crossed eyes, characterized by inability to focus eyes together. Infantilism, infantilism, childishness, where in behavior patterns of adults, childish uh, behavior is dominating. Albinism, albinism, absence of pigmentation. Second meaning of ismus is addiction. Example, alcoholism, alcoholism, addiction to alcohol. Nicotinism, nicotinism, addiction to smoking. Narcotism, narcotism, addiction to narcotics. Third meaning of ismus is poisoning. Botulism, botulism, food poisoning caused by botulinum bacteria. Mercurialism, poisoning by mercury. And last one is iodism, poisoning by iodine. So guys, we discussed with you suffixation and types of suffixes. Thank you for attention. Goodbye.